Hey guys, what's going on? Brent here on this morning excursion. Obviously, you can tell we're going to Bot Tower. My wife and I go to Bot Tower about once or twice a year. It's one of our favorite little spots, a hidden gem in Central Florida. We've been quite a bit more this year because our awesome niece and nephew, Aiden and Amelia, conned their parents into getting us an annual pass, so we really appreciate that. The Bot Tower grounds are 250 acres. Obviously, we can't look at all of it, but we're gonna definitely check out the tower, the estate, the beautiful gardens, and we're gonna check out one more spot that nobody really talks about. But that's gonna be towards the end. I'm giving a little shameless tease here so you stick around to the end. One of my favorite parts of this spot is there's very few people there, and I've been social distancing way before it was a thing, so I really like that. There's also an amazing kids play area at Bok Tower. I didn't film any of that because I thought it would be a bad life choice for a large man just like myself, taking a camera with no children with me and filming other children at play. Uh, yeah, I feel like I don't even need to say any more about that. So you'll have to check that out for yourself. So it's definitely on their website, so make sure you take a look at that. Bok Tower is located in Lake Wales, Florida. Bok Tower is open 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Admission for adults is $15. For children ages 5 to 12 is $5. Children under 5 are free and dogs are $5. Edward William Bach is an American editor and Pulitzer Prize winning author. Edward Bach also had a great influence on American architecture. Bach helped promote architects like Frank Lloyd Wright Jr. He was a leader of the arts and crafts movement at the turn of the century, and fun fact, he was the first to call a Victorian parlor a living room. The Bachs embarked upon the construction of Bach Tower Gardens near their winter home in Lake Wales, which was dedicated by President Calvin Coolidge in 1929. Bach Tower is listed on the National Register of Historical Places as a National Historic Landmark. The tower is a traditional Gothic design and incorporates unique elements that represent Florida's nature. The sculptures adorning the tower represent themes of nature, humanity, the Bible, and philosophy. The Great Iron Door depicts the biblical story of creation, the book of Genesis starting with creation of light and ending with Adam and Eve being banished from the Garden of Eden. In the heart of seven and a half acres at Bach Tower Gardens is at Pinewood Estates. The Mediterranean style mansion has 20 rooms. The estate was built in the early 1930s.
and now it's time for me to make good on my teas. One of my favorite things about Bach Tower is the nature trail that takes you from the visitor center all the way up to the front entrance. From the visitor center to the end is a mile and a half, so walking back would make a total of three miles. You can run into an assortment of different species like gopher tortoises, eastern indigo snakes, gopher frogs, the Florida mouse, and you will run into a plethora of butterflies. Hey, at least I'm housebroken.